listeners welcome to this presentation on instability of emulsions after watching this video the learners will be able to explain the instability of emulsions which are cracking creaming and phase inversion so do watch this video till the end to get more information about the instability of emulsions and do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for latest updates so let us start with our presentation an emulsion is said to be stable if it remains as such after its preparation that is dispersed globules are uniformly distributed throughout the dispersion medium during its storage the emulsion should be chemically stable and there should not be any bacterial growth during its shelf life now let us see the instability of emulsions which are creaming cracking and phase inversion first cracking now what is cracking it means separation of two layers of disperse and continuous phase due to coalescence of disperse phase globules which are difficult to redisperse by shaking so here you can see that it is a typical emulsion where oil oily globules are dispersed in water that is continuous phase but in case of cracking there is separation of two layers that is dispersed phase and continuous phase both the phases get separated this is because due to the coalescence of globules the globules overlap or attach to each other and if it forms a big globule so due to due to this coalescence of dispersed phase globules the cracking takes place and which is difficult to redisperse by shaking now cracking may occur due to following reasons by addition of emulsifying agents of opposite type or it may be by decomposition or precipitation of emulsifying agents or by addition of common solvent or it may be due to the microorganisms or change in temperature or it may be due to the creaming Now first by addition of emulsifying agent of opposite type as we know soaps of monovalent metals produce o by w type of emulsions whereas soaps of divalent metal produce w by o type of emulsions but the addition of monovalent soap to a divalent soap emulsion or a divalent soap to a monovalent soap emulsion leads to cracking of emulsion next is by decomposition or precipitation of emulsifying agent when an acid is added to an alkali soap emulsion it causes the decomposition of an emulsifying agent and thus leads to cracking of an emulsion similarly when sodium chloride is added to sodium or potassium soap emulsion it leads to the precipitation of emulsifying agents and thus cracking of emulsion takes place next by addition of a common solvent when a solvent is added to an emulsion which is either miscible with or dissolve the dispersed phase continuous phase and emulsifying agent there is formation of one phase or a clear solution this leads to cracking of an emulsion for example addition of alcohol to turpentine liniment leads to the formation of clear solution because turpentine oil soap soap and water 
are soluble in alcohol next is by microorganisms if emulsion is not stored properly they may develop bacterial and mold growth this may lead to destruction of emulsifying agent and cause cracking of emulsion therefore it is desirable that all emulsion which are required to be stored for a long period should be suitably preserved next change in temperature when emulsions are stored for a long time an increase in temperature may reduce the viscosity of the emulsion and encourage creaming when the emulsions are stored at very low temperature freezing of its water content into ice and subsequent melting of the ice and shaking may reform the emulsion next by creaming a creamy emulsion is more liable to crack than a homogeneous emulsion it is therefore necessary to take steps to retard creaming as far as possible so here we have completed cracking now let us see what is creaming it may be defined as upward movement of dispersed phase globules to form a thick layer at the surface of the emulsion so here you can see a typical emulsion it is a o by w type of emulsion where oil globules are in dispersed phase and water is in continuous phase but in case of creaming as we know creaming is upward movement of dispersed phase globules to form a thick layer at the surface of emulsion so here as you can see the globules are moving upward and they form a thick layer at the surface of emulsion and thus it is called as creaming creaming is a temporary phase because it can be redistributed by mild shaking or stirring to get again a homogeneous emulsion as far as possible creaming of an emulsion should be avoided because it may lead to cracking with complete separation of two phases according to stokes law the rate of creaming depends on the number of factors which can be explained by the following equation which is v is equal to 2r square in bracket d1 minus d2 bracket complete into g divided by 9 eta where v is the rate of creaming r radius of globules d1 density of dispersed phase d2 density of continuous phase g gravitational constant and eta viscosity of the dispersion medium first factor is radius of globules the rate of creaming is directly proportional to the radius of globules larger the size of the globules more will be the creaming and smaller the size of the globules lesser will be the creaming the small globules will rise less quickly than large globules the creaming can be reduced by reducing the size of globules by passing the emulsion through the homogenizer next factor is difference in density of dispersed phase and continuous phase the rate of creaming depends upon the difference between the densities of the dispersed phase and continuous phase greater the difference more will be the creaming this difference can be reduced but it is not desirable because it is not required therapeutically next factor is viscosity of the dispersion medium the rate of creaming is inversely proportional to the viscosity of the dispersion medium the viscosity can be increased by adding methyl cellulose and tragacanth but too much of viscosity is undesirable because 
it may become difficult to redisperse the material which have settled at the bottom also it is difficult to pour the emulsion from the container next factor is the storage condition the emulsion should be stored in a cool place because the rise in temperature reduces the viscosity which may lead to creaming the freezing should be avoided because it may lead to cracking so here we have completed creaming next instability of emulsions is phase inversion so what is phase inversion it means the change of one type of emulsion into the other type that is oil in water emulsion changes into water in oil type and vice versa so phase inversion may be due to the following reasons it may be due to by changing the emulsifying agent or by addition of an electrolyte or by change in temperature or by changing the phase volume ratio the phase inversion can be minimized by keeping the concentration of dispersed phase between 30 to 60% or storing the emulsion in a cool place and by using a proper emulsifying agent in adequate concentration thank you for your patience listening if you like this video press like button and for more videos please subscribe to my youtube channel thank you for your patience listening keep learning